Hello, you beautiful people. Hey guys, welcome to day three of Vlogmas. This is about as Christmassy as I'm going to get dodgy lights that don't work. Well, half of them don't work. Listen, I tried, okay? This is this is about as Christmassy as I get. I'm not a, I'm not a massive fan of Christmas. Not saying I'm against it, but to be honest, putting too much effort into it, meh. As long as you at least try a bit, it, it, it's fine. So today's episode is about gift giving and how stressful it can be and also about when you receive a gift that you don't want, you've got to be nice about it. So I mean, for me, I'm, I'm quite lucky. I don't have many people to buy gifts for, so I, I, I don't have to worry too much about getting the right gifts. I mean, for some people, you have to buy, you know, well, some people have to buy hundreds of gifts, maybe not hundreds, but a lot. And I mean, that, that's, that must be quite stressful buying, I don't know, 50 plus gifts for various different family members. I mean, myself personally, I've got buying gifts for myself because, you know, that is very important. I'm buying gifts for my mum and dad. That's pretty much it. So I don't have to worry too much about getting the right gifts. It's, it's usually just chocolate or is it some token gift. I, it's very hard to know what anyone wants for Christmas unless you just blatantly ask them and say, okay, I'm getting you this. But as well as like finding the right gift, it's deciding how much you should spend because there is a certain uh, element of reciprocity in, in, in gift giving that, you know, you don't want to give someone a five pound gift and they're giving you, you know, a PS4 or something. It's, you want to be you want to give relatively even gifts. I mean, not necessarily completely even, but there's, there's this, you know, being being thoughtful and then just, oh, I'll just pick this up because it's, it's there. You want to put some thought into the gift. I think one of the key skills that everyone does at Christmas, everyone learns, everyone uses, is the, so, are you looking forward to anything for Christmas? Anything you put particularly want, like sneakily, subtly asking anything you want, anything in particular. Now, I will say that I'm not very subtle, so don't, don't, don't follow my advice. But if you can be really subtle and find out what they want without actually giving them the hint that you're going to buy it, buy it for them, then use that to your advantage. Me, I'm more of a what do you want? Okay, I'm getting that for you. But of course, there's being on the receiving end of that, like being someone else asking you, what do you want? And me personally, I like to just be surprised. So, you know, just buy me anything. But you say, everyone says buy, you know, buy me anything. But let's be honest, there are certain things you get that are just like, yeah, that's, that's great. It's just what I wanted. Another pair of socks. And I think one skill as adults learn is the the fake happiness. Oh my! Oh wow! You know that, that is that is, it's just what I wanted. That that another pair of socks because I'm just running out so often. It's oh thank you. You are so considerate. Although having said that, if someone's that excited about a pair of socks, they're probably faking. I think the key point of advice for buying gifts is just ask them what, what they want. If they don't tell you then it's their own fault for getting some random thing that they've already got. And that is it from me guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And let me know in the comments what are the worst and best gifts you've ever, ever gotten off someone for Christmas. And that's all. See you later guys.